Hey everybody, welcome to Lessons with Troy. I'm Troy Bernie Meyer. On well, this lesson, it's going to be my first lesson for B11 tuning. Um, I do have my Asher 8 string here. And just so you know, um, for all you guys that are playing 6 strings uh, tuned to C6 tuning, you don't have to change your strings to put it in a B11 tuning. And I get a lot of questions about what strings I use and this and that. Keep in mind, for this 8 string, what I do is I buy strings for an A6 tuning, right? Uh, that would be from your thickest to your thinnest for an 8 string. It'd be F sharp, A, C sharp, E, F sharp, A, C sharp, E, right? The 6th, and then root 3rd, 5th, 6th, root 3rd, 5th. But a lot of times I put this in different tunings. So I'll put this in a C6 tuning with the high E, right? Where it would be your top six strings are C, E, G, A, C, E. And I'm sure a lot of you guys you know, are following my lessons for C6 tuning. But with these same A6 strings, I can easily put it in a B11 tuning. And I'm going to show you a few different ways in this lesson to achieve that. Um, not only with six strings, but also with all eight. So let's check out the diagram that I made here. And keep in mind that the diagrams for this lesson are available uh, for purchase on my, uh, along with the less the full lesson, uh, my streaming site lwtstreaming.com. And let's look at what a B11 chord is. Okay, so if you notice each neck, right, how it's made up of different colors. Um, basically what I do in this diagram or this chart is I show you how this B11 chord is made. So uh, the first string six, five, and four, that's your root third fifth of a B major chord, right? And then I show, you know, where your other chords are. Keeping in mind in between, like in between C and D, that would be your C sharp chord or your D flat chord, etc. Okay, we go down to this neck in the red and look at this, root third fifth, and then this A note. Well, this gives it, it it's that dominant sound because that's the flat seven in the key of B. What does that mean? Well, normally in the key of B, you have an A sharp, and this would be A natural, which is back one fret. Okay, so actually, let me, I got this tune. Let me show you right off the bat what this sounds like so far. I'll, I'll play up on my uh, 12th fret here. So there's your root third fifth. And then listen for this flat seven on string three. Right? And that's what this is. Root third fifth flat seven. Okay. And then in blue here, we keep building this B11 chord. We've got root third fifth flat seven. And then the ninth, that's what C sharp is in the key of B. When you have your, your seventh in there, this is considered the ninth. And then down here in the pink, here's our full B11 chord with all the notes in the B11 chord. We have our root. Let me play that. We have our third. We have our fifth. We have our flat seven. We have our ninth. We have our eleventh. Root, third, fifth, flat seven, ninth, eleventh. I know a lot of you purists out there are probably saying, oh, don't tune that six string to a B, tune it to this or that, right? Well, this is, I really wanted to show you um, how to build the B11 chord and what that is. So a B11 chord, it's a B major triad with a flat seven extension, a ninth, and then an 11th, right? So really has a lot of extensions on there, right? Now, this isn't that that this particular chord voicing, we'll call it, with that B in your sixth string. Um, it's what I'll be covering in the diagrams and all that. But right now, I want to show you how to make it more Hawaiian, lagoon, dreamy, mystery sounding, right? And what you do with that is on that sixth string, let me give you this view. Um, on that sixth string, instead of a B, what you can do is you can tune that up. To a C sharp. Okay. Now we've got this. We've got C sharp. Right? C sharp. And then we've got D sharp. Right? Basically, what we've done is we've taken that B, what was tuned to B, and we moved it up to a C sharp. And it sounds like this. Right? 
right? These two notes, C sharp to D sharp, is where you get that. It's starting to sound a lot more mysterious now. Now, if we keep going with the full B11 chord as it's uh, tuned in on an eight string, the seventh string is now going to be your B note. Okay. So normally in an, it, with these A6 strings, normally that seventh string is an A note, but I've, I've moved that up to a B. Now listen to it. Now, let's add the 8th string in here. Now, for the 8th string, I have that tuned to the note A. Right? Sounds like this. So now what you get with a full, this particular tuning on eight string is you get the note A, B, so A, B, right? Those two notes are a whole step apart. Uh, C sharp. And then you got uh, a note D sharp there. You hear those whole steps there? A to B, B to C sharp, C sharp to D sharp. Now add that, that uh, F sharp there. Then add all, all eight. Now that's where you get that. That's where, to me, to my ears, for some reason, I think of like a, a tiki kind of uh, blue lagoon, Hawaiian mis mysterious thing with fog and all that. Again, what that tuning is, is it's A, which there's your flat seven, but in the lowest note of a, of a B11 chord. So A, and now you got B, C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, A, C sharp, E. Really unique tuning. From my experience, um, to, uh, songs that use this tuning, Sand is a really popular one. I believe uh, Mapuana uh, uses this tuning. Um, How do you do? At least I think that either A6 or this tuning. Um, and there's a lot of other tunes too. Uh, but yeah, if you're interested in getting in that unique sound... B11, you know, might be for you. So like I said, I, I have these, these diagrams that I made for this lesson, and let's go ahead and take a look at them. So you see in this particular diagram...